In this section, we will discuss inference lines for statically determinate structures. As you well know that civil engineering structures are designed to resist various types of loading, including dead loads, which come in fixed patterns, and the effects of the dead load can be reflected through shear force and bending moment diagrams. On the, on the other hand, live load can come with different locations as well as regions of applications. So their effects on the structures needs to be further investigated. An inference line is proposed under this condition. So what is inference line? Inference line is defined as a graph of response, which could be a reaction force at the support or internal force at any cross sections of a structure plotted against the locations of the downward unit force moving across the structures. So let me use this structure as an example. I choose the reaction force at this tower as my response and plot the magnitude of the response as the downward unit force moving across the structures. So this graphical representation is the inference line for the response at the left tower. Note that the x-axis of the inference line is the indications of the locations of the downward unit force, while the y-axis is the indications of the magnitude of the response that you chose. Next, I'm going to show you three methods to help you construct inference line. They are point-by-point -point calculations, inference line equations, and the last is graphical approach called muller breslau principle. First is a point-by-point -point calculations. Now this approach basically is uh, summations of equilibrium calculations. So you just follow the definitions of the inference line and then move the downward unit force from one location to another. So here are examples. So first, you position the downward unit force at the locations measure 2.5 meters from the left end, and then perform equilibrium. In this case, I do summation moment at point B, and set up this moment equilibrium equations, which then tells you that AY should be equal to 0.75. Then I move the downward unit force to another location, which is 5 meter measuring from the left, and then perform another equilibrium calculations, and the result shows you that the AY is equal to 0 0.5. So you can repeat the calculation for different locations, and then calculate the magnitude of AY, and then plot them out on uh, AY versus the locations of the downward unit force, and here you have the inference line for AY. Now, if you realize that I don't have to repeat the equilibrium calculation uh, many times, if I set the locations of the downward unit force as a variable x there, and then directly perform the equilibrium calculations, just like before, finding the summation moment at point B equal to 0, and then you can directly obtain a y as a function of x. So the results show you that a y is equal to 1 minus 1 over 10 x and graphically is exactly the same as what you obtained before. 